Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Very good afternoon, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Before we start my presentation, uh, we would like to express our gratitude to a lot of the committee and also the faculty member and from the USM and UNISA and also the UPM. So it's a great uh, pleasure to inviting me to be here. It's a great uh, the symposium uh, Health Science 2022. And please uh, let me introduce myself. I am Jeffrey Manjafi. Now I am the Dean of the Faculty of Public Health Universitas Andalas of West Sumatra, Indonesia. And also I am the now the chairman of the Indonesia Epidemiological Association of West Sumatra chapter. Uh, today I want to talk uh, two part. The first is our research about the impact of model of the social restriction policies and the new habit adaptation to community mobility pattern in responding and control COVID-19 pandemic in Indonesia. And the second part, our experience uh, to help uh, our government, especially in the West Sumatra province, uh, not easy uh, uh, for the epidemiologists uh, to give uh, advice and advocacy to to, to make sure what the policy to control a uh, pandemic. So I think the, the best experience to share to all of you. And, and I think uh, we can learn a lot uh, each other. So the first, uh, we know that about the COVID-19 has uh, been reported uh, in the end of uh, December 2019. So in Indonesia, uh, it's been reported since early March uh, 2020. And so uh, Indonesia government uh, have uh, many policies uh, about uh, how to control the COVID-19. It means that I, if I call, not, not only the COVID-19 have the, the variant, and also for the restriction policy have a variant. Uh, so uh, the community and, and, and the public are still confused is, is uh, effective or, or not. But we try to, uh, to cover and to and, uh, review uh, the implemented uh, and correct the community and to adapt their behavior following the health protocols set by the government. And, and also the propagated uh, spread transmission of COVID-19 uh, followed by change uh, in the community mobility pattern and have the events uh, increase the, the cases. Uh, our research is uh, not uh, difficult. Uh, we try to uh, assess uh, the impact of the policies implemented by the government and changing the pattern of community mobility and control of COVID-19 in Indonesia. So especially here, we have the one example in the West Sumatra province. So uh, we, uh, the methodology, we, we use the retrospective data analysis uh, from the beginning, March 2020 until October 2021. And we use the uh, epidemiological data from the Indonesian COVID-19 uh, task force. So uh, the data from the, the all of uh, uh, provincial health office uh, record about the epidemi epidemiological data. And also uh, we just have uh, only the one data about the, the mo mobility data. Uh, from the very famous from the Google COVID-19 community mobility report. But I think it's very useful uh, to know about the uh, mobility of the community uh, all of it in the all of province in Indonesia and especially in the West Sumatra province. Uh, 
what the the the, the result uh, is the the one uh, the the this, this lab is uh, the social and community activities decisions policy. Uh, in the beginning, he, uh, he said that uh, have many variants about uh, COVID-19 and also for the restriction policy have the variant. Uh, we, we, the, the first uh, policy about the restriction we call is PSBB. PSBB is mean that the uh, uh, social large, large, uh, restriction, pembatasan uh, social skala besar. This is transition phase, stage phase. Uh, we start from the 6 April 2020 until the 14 September 2020. So uh, is uh, the policy based uh, the number of uh, 21st of 2020 include the the, tricks, uh, the restriction uh, the area 15 for fins. So uh, the the uh, <clears throat> is I think it is uh, we we review that the PSBB is more effective than other variant for the uh, activities uh, and restriction policy, and also we uh, we have also the uh, PPKM PPKM is mean that uh, public health uh, restriction have the name the, for the first uh, one is uh, stake PPKM one and two. And January, the first January 20, uh, 2021 until uh, February uh, 2021. And not include the uh, 15 province after uh, maybe in uh, the central government review but the not effective for the PSBB we uh, the government should be create the new one the PPKM and only the seven uh, profit uh, and the next let we we can uh, the layer for the policies and also uh, with with the the number of the uh, with the, the, the epidemiological data and next uh, Indonesia have the PPKM micro. PPKM micro is more uh, restriction. I uh, have the uh, uh, level of attrition stake one until 12. It means that uh, start uh, in the beginning of February and until uh, 25 uh, July 2021. Uh, PPKM micro is a national. Uh, region uh, level, include all of the province in Indonesia. Now, and the, in July, I think in July uh, uh, is, uh, <clears throat> is a condition of very emergencies, but the number of then and also the number of cases in uh, COVID-19 in Indonesia. We call have the name if a PPKM direct is emergency, uh, uh, public health restriction in Indonesia include uh, the epicenter for the uh, like uh, five year uh, point in COVID nineteen in Indonesia in uh, in the Java Island and uh, Bali Island and the last one I think is until now have the PPKM level one and until level four I think is the uh, the, the the reference from the WHO, uh, the indicator, and the start from uh, 21st July to 2020, uh, 2021 until, I think it's until now in the national level, uh, the restriction policy. So, uh, is uh, the next slide is the number of new confirmation cases. We combine about the cumulative number of death and also the sequence interval time, uh, the restriction. Uh, it, <clears throat> you can see that the the, the bar setting blue uh, PSBB sequence from the beginning uh, April until uh, September 2000, 2020. Uh, 2000, 
uncertainty and <clears throat> and also have the uh, PPKM and it is spreading uh, like a uh, uh, brown and yellow and the dark brown and also the orange. I can see the the number of uh, new confirmation cases the cumulative and also that you no, know, it's, it's called in in the time about the PPKM darurat is emergency situation, very uh, many restriction, not only the mobility and also uh, activities uh, in the community and have the impact the the number of that is going down until in September is I think is the, the the second wave in the COVID-19 in Indonesia. So we know that the, the Google uh, COVID-19 community Google report have uh, showed the movement trend by region and I think it's very useful if the, all of the students and the faculty member to use the the data uh, to do analyze uh, to combine the with the epidemiological data uh, in in the Google uh, community report I uh, have uh, two different ways the first is at line number to compare mobility the, for the report that, uh, to the baseline day and the second trend graph is percentage uh, the percent change in the six week before uh, the report uh, the date. So uh, we try to uh, combine uh, the epidemiological data, the number of uh, confirmation cases with uh, the, the, the COVID-19 community mobility report, the one of the criteria about the retail and restriction. So uh, you know that, that the baseline before the pandemic in uh, in February and uh, the beginning of March. So we you know that when uh, the government implemented for the PSBB is uh, the the community going down the percentage uh, to the retail and recreation area. And now we look the in the. Uh, PPK and micro, maybe the, the 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 community try to uh, go out and go to retail and recreation and increase their the mobility, and the government stop also for for the uh, PPK and rats. It's emergency uh, public health recession. Now oh, going down again, uh, going down again for the. Uh, the mobility to retail and recreations. Now we look the uh, the layer, the light, the, the the mobility to go the grocery and the pharmacy. Uh, look like different from the retail and the recreation, but for the in the the emergency situation also going down uh, the mobility uh, the percentage. And last, uh, the community will report to the park and also similar uh, the trend for the situation emergency. I think is we call that there is a, a little bit effective to control the uh, the pandemic, but how to how the government to continue and. Uh, to make sure that the, mo the mobility have the health protocol is a good health protocol to to going out and also to uh, to run the, the activity of uh, site and it, and also uh, in the transit station we combine the data I think in Kuala Lumpur and also. In the Malaysia, have this study like this, and to compare both the policy and the epidemiological data uh, to look, uh, we look uh, together is effective or not uh, uh, to control the pandemic based on the uh, epidemiological uh, epidemiological data uh, and uh, research uh, to COVID nineteen and. <clears throat> You know, uh, for the workplace, have uh, the trend because uh, 
uh, especially for the weekend in the Saturday and Monday, still have the industry uh, not from uh, work from home, but still going uh, <clears throat> go to the uh, office and have the the trend and and uh, the the <clears throat> oh, 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 restriction I have uh, in the workplace. And the residential look that uh, have the, the if we combine base uh, on the baseline and the green line, uh, mostly all whole, whole of Indonesia uh, uh, going to <clears throat> go to the uh, not not still heavy in the uh, in the home. Uh, not include uh, if 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 we, we combine if we compare with the baseline uh, data, uh, not yeah, until from from the February two thousand uh, twenty until October two thousand twenty one, uh, still have a uh, community and public and people still have uh, in the residence residential and yeah, at home. So we try to analyze uh, descriptive uh, to correlation with uh, the data, epidemiological data and uh, community data have uh, have a positive uh, correlation for the residential and return and recreation. But uh, the limitation is this the aggregate data in the whole of, of Indonesia. I think we try to uh, specific analysis in the real spatial region. It means that only the one of uh, a province and to compare the another province, I think is more better because uh, the, the, the limitation for the aggregate uh, aggregation for the data I mean have a, a bias uh, in the analysis. So we try to expand, uh, try to one of the <coughs> the uh, way uh, analysis for the backcasting. You know, for the COVID nineteen, have uh, the sequence time for the estimated uh, onset distance reporting until uh, uh, before uh, before. Uh, when the people infected to until the result reported. We have uh, many times. <clears throat> so uh, infected to the swab sample were taken, we took to uh, until uh, four days. Uh, so for the swab sample were taken to the sample received and the lab, we, uh, we have one until three days. And also from, from the sample received from the lab to sample check and analyze and to report, we have to one or, or, or four days. So the mean of uh, the, the for the time have uh, eight days to West Sumatra province. And we know, and we also analysis in Jakarta have uh, 12 days before uh, Star from the infected to the sorry reported. I think for the epidemiology, uh, we try to <clears throat> to analyze, uh, to analyze and analyzing for the data. Try to using the backcasting method to know about the onset because uh, some uh, case have the symptom and some case not have a symptom like that. So in the West Sumatra, uh, we try to make extinct uh, trend uh, <clears throat> of confirmation cases and then testing COVID-19. And we uh, combine also with the policies, uh, sequence the time of policies. And look at uh, sequence, FSPB, PPKM, PPKM Micro, PPKM Delta, and PPKM Level 1 and 4. <clears throat> 
uh, the one of uh, our result, I think we can uh, identify the PSB way more than effective than other uh, policy like a PPKM, PPKM micro, and PPKM Darura. Because, you know, in the, in the beginning, uh, not easy to implement it for the PSBB because, you know, all of the people uh, just only in their home cannot work and also not have activity. But we try uh, to give the advocacy to our governor and also the vice governor not easy to implement it because have the consider about the hardware economic and also the political uh, issue uh, to uh, implement it for the policy. I think, I think the next slide we have uh, experience like that. And also we combine about the try to plot in the West Sumatra, the number of dead locomotive COVID-19 in West Sumatra from the, the beginning until 7 June 2021. We know that uh, the city of Padang is the mother city in the West Sumatra, uh, have the, the, the high number for the disease, but we compare with the case fatality ratio or we call it uh, CF, CFR, COVID-19 in the West Sumatra, uh, not uh, the city of Pada. High, very uh, surprise because uh, Pasaman Barat and Pasaman uh, have the case fatality, uh, fatality ratio, the high uh, CFR. So uh, we, we try to give the information to our governor and also uh, the all of uh, task force in the West Sumatra. Why? Because we have, we, uh, we can guess maybe uh, the lack of the, uh, the hospital uh, spawn and also the, <clears throat> the I think it's very uh, important about the, the mindset of the, the leader of the, the city leader and also the district because uh, in the West Sumatra have the district and, all, and also have the city. Uh, so I think it's uh, the good, uh, our experience, not easy to give the advocacy, to, advocate, to make sure it's important to, uh, to prevent uh, the, the number of dead and also to prevent the, the infected and transmission uh, of the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. But uh, have uh, many uh, children, I think we can also learn from the Kuala Lumpur and also the Southeast Asia, because uh, sometimes not believe that sometimes the, the leader uh, believe to, to prevent and to uh, respond to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. And, PPKM uh, Darura, it's an emergency PPKM also have a, <clears throat> uh, a reference for the situational assessment. I think in Indonesia, almost for the, from the center of government, use the, uh, from the WHO to uh, assessment for the, <clears throat> the level of uh, uh, restriction because uh, we evaluate and all of the epidemiologists uh, from Indonesia have meeting with the Ministry of Health and, and also uh, with the task force uh, center in the center of government of Indonesia in Jakarta. I think every, uh, every week uh, on the last and Saturday, we know that uh, when the for the situation now, sometimes like a push and pull about the, uh, the policies. So uh, I think we try to uh, capture how to manage the COVID-19 pandemic because we know they have uh, upstream and downstream. Sometimes we to compare 
uh, what the indicator, what the detail uh, for the <clears throat> institution responsibility and personal responsibility. We now have how, how to detect, how to test, how to treat, and also contact tracing is very uh, important about the institution area and responsibility. And also in the West Sumatra have, uh, yeah, social capital, social network. I think it's similar with uh, uh, Bangsa Malayu have the very good uh, social network, like Majelis Taklim, and also in Java called about the Pagayuban, uh, have the, the community leader to, to give the, Health promotion and literacy, and also the personal. I think is uh, like was pull about the uh, we call it info the making not easy. Uh, have to give the uh, liter uh, uh, literacy in uh, in the community, and travel restriction, and also have the awareness how to increase the awareness and the knowledge about the uh, pandemic. So. Uh, <laughs> I try to give the example, not playing hide and seek with COVID-19 in the beginning. Uh, in Indonesia, so I think it's similar with Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia. Jangan main petak umpet. Because, you know, if we catch already about the, the one case, not good about the isolation and quarantine, I think we can uh, try to cut again, but I think it's not uh, the playing not not have the end game uh, because uh, if we call the high and sick, I think never uh, we, we we if we good about the uh, isolation and good uh, literation, uh, the the activities not. Uh, uh, not we work again in the in the next year or next year uh, when until uh, the pandemic uh, of uh, the pandemic in the future. So uh, from the uh, one of the uh, journal try to give the name health in the reform of life. I think it's important about uh, our uh, public health mindset. Uh, to control the pandemic and respond the pandemic. Uh, we have the health promotion, health education is pretty important. The healthy lifestyle movement, uh, because that the pandemic is the, uh, the front of the how to defend. Uh, so uh, the government have the social distancing, uh, cell restriction, get to preventive. And the last one, uh, give the uh, how to develop and give the new habit to the community and the public uh, used to personal hygiene and, uh, and personal equipment to protect uh, yourself. So uh, we uh, never uh, can increase the, uh, and the last one, the salut organizes how to the quality of life and well-being good uh, not uh, the position and that and this in the picture. So uh, we have uh, four quadrant to to give the awareness uh, to our community because the target of the health promotion and education and literacy. We have the high no light have the quadrant one and the green uh, the green quadrant. I mean that is very good position. If we ask to ourselves uh, uh, whether uh, what the what the, the, the our position in here have higher the knowledge or and also higher the awareness, because in the community also have uh, yes uh, they have a uh, high awareness, but. The low knowledge. Uh, mostly uh, the community, the belief of information, and also uh, include the rejection and fanatic also 
have the stigma in their reposition. And also the, uh, the community also have the, the third quadrant is the orange quadrant, high knowledge, but low awareness. Uh, sometimes in the position, uh, mostly in the community don't understand for the platic, uh, flattening the, the proof and just only uh, the, uh, they have sick, only use the mask and then believe in her immunity. But the, the poor uh, position in here, low awareness and also low knowledge because you know, the community, the position is uh, just on the important about the economy and how to get the money tomorrow and also being able to eat today, how to eat tomorrow, just in, not think about the pandemic and also the health and also about the, uh, the clean and the situation in the city and also in the country just only think about that. I want to eat today and how about tomorrow, I can eat or not, something like that. I think it's if, uh, the target health promotion uh, to be focused on this quadrant and the red quadrant. So uh, if we try to give uh, the basic of epidemiology, I think you, uh, all of the student and also the faculty member know about the equilibrium state in Indonesia state, the kesetimbangan about the agent, cause and environment. I think we, if we know about the, the, the basic of epidemiology, I think we can control and respond to the pandemic in easy in the future. So we know uh, like uh, COVID-19 have the biological agent, and how intervention for the person and host and how to give the, the good condition for about the environment, uh, the whole interaction about, about the equilibrium state in an epidemiology. So we try to expand about the, we think about not, 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 not just think about the health, not just think about the uh, only epidemiology to can uh, control the pandemic. We need the interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary approach. We try to expand agent and host and environment. So the medicine and public health science, we need to know about the genetic, about the immunity and nutrition, how to get uh, the, big, uh, the big problem about the behavioral science, not easy to implement it about the, the policy, how to adaptation, what the new habit, what new behavior, or to control the pandemic. And also, if we try to control the environment, we need the, the, the law and need, uh, administrative intervention. Uh, it means that economic and social anthropology science uh, in the community. And also in the agent, we try to expand, need the, how to modify the virus, and biological uh, engineering uh, science. I think uh, very new and also I think we have the, the new knowledge in the future. Uh, we believe that uh, the genetic is have an influence to uh, control the, the agent and in the future. So we call uh, about the pandemic uh, risk reduction. We have reference uh, WHO 2017 have the criteria. We need to comprehensive risk management or all, all hazard approach, multi-sectoral approach, multidisciplinary and community resilient. It's more important than other and sustainable development. How to prevent and then we cannot predict the next uh, pandemic and the next flu and the next uh, uh, biological yeah, terrorism in the future. If have, we have uh, the community resilient and sustainable development to have the program to know and uh, good uh, literacy and help uh, promoting, I think 
the one of uh, the gun. I think it's the gun to to all the, the the pandemic in the future. So this is uh, the one of our documentation. This is our governor uh, before uh, Professor Ewan Parikno. I think is uh, alumni from the USM Malaysia. I think. And this is a vice governor. He's already passed away, uh, 2021, with COVID-19. And this is uh, the head of a uh, health provincial health office. And Dr. Andani is a laboratory at the Faculty of Medicine and the University. Is also ha uh, Dr. Andani, the one of the uh, expert. Uh, <clears throat> in the Ministry of Health. And this is uh, uh, Ibu Ade. Ibu Ade is, is a vice dean in the Faculty of uh, Public Health. Uh, we try to give uh, advice to our governor and also the, all of uh, the leader in the district and the city in the West Sumatra uh, with a virtual uh, conference. And we update the, the analysis to the data and to update the, 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 the position and give the, <clears throat> uh, the basic uh, knowledge about the epidemiology and also uh, the data to make the, the decision to our uh, community and uh, people in the West uh, Sumatra province. So it was this uh, our document for the PSBB because PSBB in the West Sumatra, the first uh, province to implement it in the Indonesia after DKI Jakarta. So uh, we tried to, uh, to help uh, and help the, our governor to make the document and the detail about uh, how to uh, prevent the, and control the pandemic COVID-19. And also we have regulation about the adaptation uh, of the habit. I think uh, this is the first uh, policy in Indonesia uh, about the adaptation of a uh, new habit. And all of province learn a lot to West Sumatra how to implement it and to how to make the document about the adaptation of the new habit for to control the COVID-19. So uh, at least the last one, because our conclusion for this, our presentation, uh, the pattern of the community mobility was defined in its recession policy in the first place. We need uh, analyze in the specific province or district or city is more better than we use the aggregate data all of, of uh, country. I think uh, different uh, city, different district have uh, community, uh, local wisdom. I think it's very, very uh, important how to give the responsibility to control the, the pandemic. And social education policy were not fully effective with control because we try to give uh, you uh, the reason. A push and pull not, cannot uh, flat the, 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 the policy. Uh, sometimes uh, just only one week and after one week have the new policy again. Uh, we need to evaluate based on the epidemiological uh, data more better uh, to control and give advice to the new policy. And the effectiveness of restrictive policy and the pattern of community mobility and control, uh, controlling COVID-19 requirement consistent. I think it's very important. We need consistent and continuous supervision from the government and also the local government in the West, uh, in, the, in, the, in the district and the city and also the, in the provincial level. And a policy based on comprehensive epidemiology, we believe that uh, 
very important to uh, consistent and control uh, the pandemic uh, of the transmission of COVID-19 in the future. I think this is our uh, presentation and the conclusion. Uh, we hope uh, that uh, if I have uh, the benefit for you all of the professor and academic in Malaysia, and we learn a lot about that, and we also learn from Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia. Thank you very much. Uh, we close the presentation. Thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.